Jason York out to center for Kitchener. He will dump it in and offside called on the Rangers. One step ahead with Shane Stevenson, number 19, over on the left side. Montreal Canadian draft pick Patrice Brisbois. Brisbois, second round pick of the Montreal Canadiens last year. He, like Corey Keane, was rated to go in the first round. In fact, about three years ago, there was a lot of talk that this guy might challenge to be a number one overall pick in the NHL. Never quite physically developed to that extent, but he's an outstanding prospect for them, and he's learning how to play defense under Pierre Kramer. And when he gets to the National Hockey League, he's going to be very well prepared, learning when to jump into the play and when not to. York gets it up ahead. Keenan comes in. All the way back for the slot. Tied up in the play was Montaneri. Bizanet works it out. And away comes Shalafu. Hits the line. He's got the trailer. Boivin. Here's Boivin. Shoots. Scores. Claude Boivin. It's one to nothing, Laval. A great shot by the Philadelphia Flyer prospect. Did a great job of burying the puck inside the corner. And the real key here is Denny Shalafu. He goes to the net. Watch number nine in front of the net, causing traffic for Mike Torquia as he comes across just in front. And that's just enough to distract Torquia and not get his glove on it. Good vision by Brisbois. The offensive defenseman puts it over. And Boyvan does a very nice shot inside the post. Shalafu is the guy that gets it going. Comes in, gains the blue line. Makes a nice drop pass to Patrice Brisbois, and like all good offensive players, goes to the net. And there he is, almost got a stick on it for deflection, but Boivin did a very good job of placing that just inside the post out of Torquia's reach. Boivin's second goal of the tournament, and it was interesting to isolate there on Shalafu because you saw him go in towards the net. He was right there to scoop home the rebound had Torquia made the stop. But Torquia didn't make the stop. Wabang gets the goal at 6.50. It's one to nothing for Laval over the Kitchener Rangers. LeCuma gets it out around the boards and out. And back behind the play, an interference penalty, and it is going to go against Laval. So the Kitchener Rangers will get their first chance of the game on the power play. Randy Pierce was dragged down right in front of his bench. Pierce was breaking up the ice. Going for a loose puck, and Dubois just stepped into him and gave him something of a hip check. Dubois gets caught pinching in, gives him a hip check as if he's carrying the puck. Well, penalty to number 11. Hitting the Ranger the power play goes into action. The Ranger power play is the best in this tournament. They're operating at better than 28% efficiency, and it's a very simple power play. They try to get it back to the points, in this case, Corey Keenan and Jason York and drive it to the net and everybody else piles in and look for a scramble. Six power play goals in 21 chances. It is 28.6%. The penalty killing for Laval, they have killed off 18 of the 20 penalties that they have faced. That's not a bad percentage either, 88.9. So a good power play against some pretty good penalty killing. 12.35 to go first period, a one to nothing hockey game. Laval leading Kitchener and this is a four on three for the Rangers. Lots of room to move it around out there. Dion back to the line. York with Dion in front looking for the tip. Here's York again. Shoots. That's block at the defense. Dropping down in front of it was Demers. Here's York with another chance to reload. He elects to pass. St. Aubin scores. Joey St. Aubin. Great puck control by the Kitchener Rangers, and Eric Raymond was fooled a little bit on this one. Raymond thought that Aubin was gonna, St. Aubin was gonna pass it. A good low feed from York. And there's the goaltender, Eric Raymond, looking behind him. You can see he Kitchener gives a second thought to the man on the crease. He's there giving him a little Joey bit of lumber. And when the puck goes over to St. Aubin, he looks a little bit off balance to be surprised by the shot. At seven minutes, 50 seconds. Right through the leg, St. Aubin gets the goal at 7.50, exactly one minute after Laval had taken a one to nothing lead.